out there, fellas. No big deal. This one? It's crazy, right? You're getting real, baby. So for my first drop, season one, episode one, is really just a love letter to my younger self. That cultural shift that happened in the late 90s, early 2000s, completely changed the direction of my life. Between the ages of like 11 and 16, I was exposed to Japanese cartoons, backpack rap, and color theory, all in that short five years. And that really gave me the building blocks, not only for my identity, but also my creative expression. So with this piece, which is my take on a pullover hoodie, really needed to honor that time period but through the lens of the knowledge and taste level that I have now. It was something that it's kind of just blends into the background. Of the yeah, keep that there. Yeah, for this look, I want this. Perfect. Yeah, so the idea is just like, relax. Ignore this, this one. Okay. <laughs> As you push, she can look up at you, obviously. So. Yeah. So when you see that cobalt blue, I'm paying homage to 90s brands like Big. The details are loosely inspired by the first anime I fell in love with, and that heavyweight garment dyed fabric and the cut are exactly what I've always wanted from a hoodie, while also making room for all body types, which if you know me, you know is a huge priority for me. How you doing? That's crazy. You can start like with your back to the camera and then turn around. And the outcome is a beautiful mix that feels high end, but also very approachable and easy to style. And that's why with this shoot, it was really important that I contextualized it on different body types, different genders, even different weather. So no matter where you come from, you can imagine yourself in it. Even out your uh, hoodie? No job small enough in CEO. No job small enough. Nope. Hi. For the record, this is my first time doing anything like this. Like I've been on set before as talent, but being behind the camera, directing, delegating, and trusting other people, totally different ball game. Especially as the sole owner of an independent creative studio with no funding or backing, it's a different kind of pressure. So the idea is video, photo, change. And then next thing gets shot. By the time this campaign actually drops, I really hope that all of it translates. All the hard work, all the storytelling, because a lot of very talented people really put a lot of effort to make sure that the vision was executed, and I'm very grateful.